Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to read 4x4 Rubik's Cube notations. So let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the main moves. So if you haven't watched my 3x3 notations video yet, please make sure to check it out. I'll put a card right here. But anyways, it's basically the same thing as the 3x3 notations. And as always, I will have a full list right here of all the notations as I am going through every each of them. This is the downside, so the D. This is the R, right? This is the L, left. This is front, F, and then that is B, black, uh, back. So, basically more details on what are the notations will be in that video where I'm going to go, to go through it. But right now I'm just going to briefly go over the outer side notations. So basically clockwise will be no apostrophe. So for example, clockwise like that. And then counterclockwise will be an apostrophe. For example, this is the front, front side, so F. And then apostrophe would be front side counterclockwise. And then R would be right side clockwise. Because when you're watching from the right side, it will be clockwise like that. L is going to be like that. U is going to be like that. D is going to be like that, etc. So now let's move on to the middle layer turns, or also called the sort of main moves. So for middle layer turns, this is pretty intuitive. This is going to be the middle layer, so M. This is going to be the standing layer, so S. This is going to be the equatorial layer, so E. And Basically, um, M goes down. This is what you have to remember. E goes right, and then S goes right too. So that is it for the middle layers. Now let's get on to the um, double layer turns. So a 4x4 is basically a 2x2, but slip it in half. So you can play this cube, like a 2x2, two two, like what I just did right here, but you can also scramble it even more and make it an actual 4x4. Four four. So this is still the R right side, but we write it as R, like a lowercase r, to turn it two times. Or we could also write it as RW, which is the main uh, notation for any cube 4x4 four four and up. So this will be the RW, this will be the RW prime. This will be the U, W, this will be the UW prime, like etc. So LW, LW prime, BW, BW prime. And now, uh, for example, RW2 would be that. In case you didn't know about two, as in like two following a move, like R2, it basically means to turn the right side two times. Any direction, because the cube has uh, four sides, I mean four edges on each side. So basically any direction you turn it two times, it's going to have the same result. So let's talk about now. This is the main thing about four by four and big cubes. Um, if you're turning, three layers, for example, if you're on a seven by seven and you need to turn three layers, or if you're on a six by six and you need to turn three layers, then you would do a U, W, um, U, for example, right side. So R, W, three. Wait, is it RW3? I think it's, it's 3WR. Wait. 
So now for the, uh, for example, you need to turn three layers like that. This will be, for example, three layers up. This will be the three layers down. And then this will be the U, three layers left. I'm pretty sure it is three, uh, U, W, uh, three, U, W. Or it might be just U, W, three. So, yeah. Uh, I will have a listing right here, so just check that out. Um, okay, now let's talk about the last part about 4x4s and big cubes, which is sort of middle layer turns, but not exactly. For example, this layer. This will be basically right side, right? This is closer to the right side than the left. And then we would call that 2R. Regularly, it would be, this is R. And then this layer, the second one in, would be 2R. So this will be 2R, this will be 2R prime. And then this will be 2U prime, this will be 2U. This will technically be 3D prime also, but that is only applicable on 6x6s and up. So yeah, that is pretty much it with this video. I hope you guys learned a lot. If you haven't checked out my 3x3 video about notations, then make sure to check that out because there are a lot of information that I only talked about in the 3x3 video. So I hope you are uh, staying safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.